Hey, hey, everyone. It is JNA here today, but we have apparently your favorite co hosts with us, JNN. JNN. That would be Stop. bad. How come he gets to go first? N -A -N -A. Alphabetical order. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course, he, of course, he would have a friggin' like reason that makes sense that was rationalized. Listen, look at us, look at us matching. I, I was like, do you think, do you think we'll ever be the couple that like wears like the same suits when they go out for a walk? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, with suits. your names on the back, fluorescent tape. Not even. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I hope or, so. Safety first. You have all this like reflective things. Okay, listen. So the boys are here just because you like them to be here. That's pretty much, I mean, we enjoy having them here, but we're not going to lie, everyone. I love being here. Loves it. Mm -hmm. Um, To have the, the four of us be able to do this was like with all four schedules and with our five children in the mix was rough. So right now it's a Thursday at 4 p.m. He had to like finish work early. Like there's dedication, Jeffrey. We're really proud of you. You should be. I don't even know why I'm here. Exactly. And then I, he was like, is there a template? Is there something we're going to talk about? I'm like, you just sit there and look we pretty. will yeah, look pretty. Um, Neil, are you actually chewing gum right now? Well, I thought I would always do it in the podcast because I always like you <laughs> to get angry at me prior to. I do want me to spit out. Do I you, actually do. Take give it. me your hand. No. Give me your hand. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. You're like his mom. Give me your hand. I think that's like rule number one of podcasting. Don't chew gum or drink glasses ice. of water. No ice in your water. No <laughs> gum. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm. Neil, how are you? I'm great. Yeah? <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh. They're going to stop listening. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? Okay. What's the best part? We can't even hear it. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. It's like we don't hear the it. Microphones. Oh yeah, this is an anti-ice crunch uh, microphone. <laughs> Um, Neil, tell us a bit about how excited you are. So that one of the questions was, what is the best part of co-hosting? I mean, that's a big title. That's a big title. Just bring that up. I felt like co-hosting was like a real strong word. It's more of a celebrity appearance, I okay. would say. A cameo. Yeah. But um, co-hosting the show is a little bit of a snap of your lifestyle and how you affect the community and get like, meet the people. I love it. Okay, should have rehearsed that prior to, but I don't know why I said, hey, that, that made no sense whatsoever. All I did was just found words, put them in a sentence, and just like, as a cheat and scrabble. It didn't even make sense. Okay, you're not like running for office right now. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to promote your weight loss, no. We want to know, it's like, for your community, empowering okay. women. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I just like that little 15 minutes of fame. That's what I should have said. Okay, oh, so yeah. you're admitting Wait, that. All post-production, we can edit the whole thing out and put that in. Okay. So to answer your question, 15 There's minutes no of fame. Editing. There's no hey, I need to tell you this story. So I showed Neil the news clip of us from CTV Live at 5. Okay. okay. He watches the whole thing. I know what she's going to say. The very last second, there's a clip and Neil happens to be in it. He goes, look at me, look at me. I'm on the news. I made the news. That, that I said the exact was his same comment. Thing. I said, Neil was in it. He's going to be super happy. Oh, so yeah. pumped. And then a student at school goes, saw you on the news. Oh, my God, no. no. <laughs> really? Yeah, the student said, I saw you on the news. And I was like, yeah, it's about time. Who about said time. that? Who? A student. A student. Oh, a student. A student. A student. Oh, what did she think I said? Student. Yeah, Student. Student. That's what we're picking up on. That's, oh. what, that's your takeaway. Not, not the fact that he wasn't. So Jeff goes, Jeff goes, Neil must be really happy. He was on the news. And I was like, what part? I don't like in my mind. I'm like, oh, was he? And he goes, yeah, yeah. The one where they showed the crowd. And yeah. I was like, right, right. And then Jeff goes, I was kind of in it as well. I'm like, really? What part? He's like in the plane. Because there's like a, a TikTok. Right. I was like, right, yeah. right. You yeah. are. Yeah. I, I love how you don't drink, but two of those videos of your life were you drinking. Okay. So I'm like, the one time you were drunk. I said this to my parents. I'm like, guys, she chose two videos. And the one, the other one where I'm in my red bikini, I was doing tequila shots. I know. 
So I'm like, I'm like, she took, she decided to take two videos on my timeline out of all the videos of what I do. And those are the two videos where I show drinking and that it's actually the one time in my life I was drunk, but it showed me having fun. Apparently. I think also only really the three of us knew, like would know, watch that video and know you were drunk. And the like ultimate creepers. Like the yes. creepers that know that that video represented me. Like if they followed us to that point, they would know that, that would be next level. That's next level. You know, That's like the, the, the bit on the news there, the snippet of all the feedback and all the visuals, it was great. And it was a really nice little snapshot of what your weight loss was. And I think that you've been on the news numerous times, but that was the best representation of what the program was. It was. It yeah. really was. I agree. That was a, thank you, Neil. That, that was that really was much good. Better. Thank you. Uh, yeah, cue cards, Neil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing was, yeah. Uh, no, I completely agree. I feel like that segment was awesome. I absolutely loved it. I watched it multiple times and I was like, oh, they really, she really crushed it. I sent her a message uh, to say, thank you. She was right. She's like, you guys crushed it. I'm, I'm going to crush this segment. It's going to be really good. And she really got the whole message. Now, did you listen to the Ottawa? So Ottawa CTV shared it. Yeah. Right. And the news anchors like this uh, company or whatever organization in uh, the Maritimes is not working on the typical meal plan, but rather a fitness, uh, a t- uh, like a specific fitness plan. I was like, where the fuck did she get this? <laughs> and then, so I tell this to Janiel, Janiel is funny. She goes, c'est bien, no, ma. What a man. He didn't listen at all to anything. That is not at all what you guys said. And I thought that was hilarious. Then they just showed the segment where I'm like, we're empowering women. Like zero fitness is a part of the thing. But he said that at the beginning, I'm like, he really didn't get it. But all good. I mean, at the end of the day, we were uh, on CTV Ottawa. All good. It was very good. Yes, all good. But it was just funny that he was a man and he was like, oh, it's just the fitness. I'm like, oh, t'as pas même écouté. T'as pas même écouté. What did they say? All press? Ah, même écouté. Listen. You didn't even listen. Oh, I wasn't paying yeah. attention to it. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. Neil, you look really good in this lighting, huh? I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I wanted to do. I, I spent a lot of time in the house deciding where we were going to put the video camera. Okay. A video, I, I have video. light on my face. I even done my I top button. I was going to say, what do we think of this top kind of button bit, thing, bit eh? smart casual. It's not going for a little bit. Executive. <laughs> Executive. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about the show a little bit. Um, okay, so wait, I'm going to go to the questions and then we'll talk to the, about the show. We didn't ask Jeff what his favorite part was. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Okay, what is the best thing and worst thing? What is the worst thing of co-hosting? Neil? Uh, you tell us what we need to do two seconds prior to going on stage. <laughs> Time, timeline? <laughs> timeline. Okay, <laughs> perfect. You under the bus? <laughs> I was thinking about that, though, because I haven't told him what he has to do. And he no does idea. have some parts, which... We need to remind ourselves that if you did that to us, we'd be fine because we're used to it. But Neil seems to need a little bit more time. I need and to- Jeff needs a freaking spreadsheet just to sit here and be pretty. Like he was like, I'm like, you don't talk. You just, what, I'm going to ask you. Say? Oh, no. okay. Um, okay. What is the best part of co-hosting our event? When it's over? Uh, the, the after party party is that yes. when all the tipsy women come and touch you guys is that why that's it? i was hoping that was what we were going to say much, the yeah, tipsy women i've been touched as much by the uh the you seem fans. you seem to hate it oh i'm a big fan well i just have to give the people what they want <laughs> and what's the worst part all of it <laughs> No, we may have oh, to put no not he's, it's he's fun. being it's funny fun. it's fun you're and you know what this year zero parts and last year we we're like you have zero parts and you were upset you no know, and you added parts at the last because you were upset i was not upset you seemed about you seemed upset, upset was about- last year when neil stripped yes yeah. that's what i'm saying like you tell me a couple of days before and i'm making velcro pants <laughs> <laughs> velcro pants yeah, a little you know more- what mm-hmm. i was thinking watching that video watching it back like if you were just like yeah sure i'll do that like well, did you ever occur to you to say nah i was speaking to jeff before as well i was like do i need to wear my tiger print other pants underneath were you going to surprise us and wear I, your box yeah uh, jeff i was there so was I, discussion there there was a mini conversation in the dressing room that i might scare people yeah with that yeah, yeah. 
But anyway, I did it. But the adrenaline, like, have you ever pulled your pants off in front of 500 people? It's the best feeling ever. <laughs> I definitely recommend it. Oh, my God. It was the best. It was so good. It was the strip show. Like, I watched the show the other day just because I needed to do clips. And I was, like, crying, laughing. And I was looking at us. I'm like, we're great. This is what a great quadruple. Is this what a duo quadru quadruplet? Foursome, I think, was the last time you talked about it. Foursome. Foursome. Right. Oh, foursome. Yeah. I like that. More than a quadruplet. <laughs> quadruplet scene <laughs> did not sound that great. Okay. So here's the thing, you guys. Um, wanted to talk about the show, wanted to talk about how it like rolls and how it how everything happens. So Jeff and Neil this year, um, we're just gonna leave it to that. They're gonna do their thing, the very Jeff and Neil thing. You guys like come in, people love you, people love to see you in the in just in that little booth. They expect yep. you there. Yeah. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Yeah. <laughs> Bert, if some people say a Muppet show. That's that's what Bert. And, sure. What about like a uh, Kurt Kermit? Poor Kurt. Kurt. Kermit. Kurt the Frog. Kurt the Frog. That's his father. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Kurt the Frog. Pierre Piggy. Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. <laughs> okay, so we know the theme, Jeff. Without saying anything about my outfit, what do you think about my outfit? I can't. It's, I know. It's a lot. It's too much. It, it's too it's much. a lot. Pretty. It's a lot. Like, <laughs> pretty, he said. Is it pretty? It's, it's handsome. <laughs> what does that even mean? I we can't give it away, but you guys, I think that jaws will drop when you walk out on stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be like something's Whoa. dropping. <laughs> something's dropping. Something. He said it might be too loud. I said the whole goal is to be loud and to just like not care. He's like, yeah, you brought it. You brought it. Think, yeah, Jose has like warning me. She's like, the beginning of the show is extra, extra. Yeah. Have you seen what she's wearing? Yeah, I've seen oh, okay. what she's wearing. Yeah. Sure have. Sure. She's seen what I'm wearing. She's seen what you're wearing. Oh, yeah. Yes. You guys are going to make the perfect couple. Yeah. Yes, Go. you and I. Let's and put this way. We won't get run over. I right. was thinking about that, Neil, you know, we asked you to strip and you're like, okay. Like, and I'm like, of course he'll say yes. Cause that's my personality as well. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, that we, I feel like together, imagine, imagine right. that show. I think secretly she wants Jeff and I to just fall off really. And it just to be <laughs> Neil and Jose. Oh, we can throw our car keys in at the end of the night, see what happens. I don't think that's what she's talking oh, about. Oh, she's not saying that? No, okay. no. I think she's talking about right. doing the show with you. That's why I thought. Would you so. do the show with Jose? Would I tag team? No, yeah. I can't. You can't. Yeah, do I think you could. I would definitely just be more. No, I wouldn't be able to do that. No. Oh, oh you think so? I think I you can't do what you guys do. You're like, ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I see. I see. I think you have a little bit more more nerves, but that's just experience. We can we can get you there. I actually I don't mind. I get. I'm getting better at being in front of people. Like, I think yeah. it might be just you putting your sentences all together with periods and full all the words that need to be there it's true yeah. punctuation makes yeah, yeah. punctuation yeah. and uh just like I don't know, like you, you know what i mean like what's this? yes Enunciate. and then oh we still there yeah, come on our podcast Enunciate. and then i can publicly shame you because you slur your words on a regular basis you don't slur it's more mumbling and combined with your accent it's just it's the perfect storm not my fault okay <laughs> not my fault <laughs> Do people at work? Are do people? Yes, at work? they mock me daily. Move on. <laughs> they mock me daily. But okay, yeah. let's just make sure nothing came on came in uh, while we were on. No one. Were those our questions? That was it. Yeah, it was too. Like it was basically like, what's the best part? Once one said, "Are you excited? Are you excited, Jeff?" Oh, can you tell from my face how excited? Uh, I feel like you're just playing it down, and you're all like, "So, like, what's what's it gonna be like?" Okay, so. Guys, if you have not purchased your, if you're in the area and you're like, man, should I be going? I think that curiosity is the opener to going, to doing something different. So curious about the show and you're from Moncton and you don't have plans. That is your intuition saying I should go. Okay. So don't, come, yeah, come to the Capitol. If you're not, if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, I want a piece of this pie, a piece of this show. So the pie, that's a thing. That's yeah, right. piece that's of the right. pie, yeah. That was really good. Yeah. I mean, guys, I fuck up words all the time, but piece of the pie is definitely a thing, though. No. It's not your worst, for sure. It's, it's not, not, not your worst. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so um, 
you purchase a virtual ticket. Now, what happens with the virtual ticket is you're going to get, so it's tomorrow, Saturday morning, last call, go. Um, and then I'm going to send the link with a little password, your personal link, personal password to get in and watch us live. So what that looks like is literally like a talk show. So you log in and then you can probably see like the crowd and the people like kind of doing, cause there's a pre-party, pre-DJ party. Okay. So if you're in at the Capitol, say wild. And a lot of hand movement in my face. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then it starts at 8 p.m. You don't know. You don't know. I don't even know. Are no, you going to tell me before? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. I'm going to tell you before. You just do your thing. And I've organized an amazing entrance made by us. Um, and you're going to be so proud of it. Like it's going to be wild. Wild. wild wild on top of just yeah, can hardly contain this excitement Look at no, this. i'm so uh, yeah no it's gonna be wild so it starts first half hour is all about women empowerment so what does that mean someone asks was like what what kind of subject is it like weight loss is it i'm like no no weight loss no weight loss so literally no conversation about weight loss nice. um, it really is about women empowerment so last year we chose different topics that we talked about honestly authentically Comedically, comedically, <laughs> Com just comedically. Is that a word? That is. Okay, right. sure is. It is now. It is now. Yeah. Um, so in a comedic way, so that it's entertainment. It's good. It's it's a conversation. It's funny. It's stories. It's us. It's what you like. You know, if you listen to our podcast, then you clearly enjoy us just talking. So that's like the first half. This year, we're doing women empowerment finished with a little twist of fun. Let's just go with that. And then we um, go to intermission. So there's an hour show, intermission for 20 minutes, party, party, party. DJ's going to stay, by the way. Alicia is going to stay. He's going to do his thing. Perfect. Yes. He's going to like hype up. I'm like, it's the vibe is so important. That like, it makes the whole difference. Yes. Because we went to, I'm just going to say, we went to Cat Nat in March and they like kind of let go of the DJ feel. And it like, was everything to me. Like I had changed the vibe for me. I like mm -hmm. dancing. I like music. I like, you need to like entertain me in between. So music is really important to me. And that was a big part of their two other shows that we went was the music. Right. And the bar is really important to me, guys. So I have asked for extra bartenders. Wow. Yes. Listen, we all have our priorities. Okay. Yeah. She was like, even the after party, she's like really disappointed. Whatever. I'm like, I'm yeah. going to reach out, make sure there's an extra bartender. So Absolutely. there is. I'm more like, what about the poutine bar? Okay. So um, then ha second half is we're switching it up a bit. So we're doing more of a like entertainment. I don't like to say like games because it sounds high school, though, but it's going to be more audience participation. Audience participation. Part yeah, Interact. audience participation. Neil, mm -hmm. you would crush host it. Like you you would love this. You're going to love this part. Yeah. You're going to love this part. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Jeff, you're going to cringe the whole time. Mm -hmm. So it's just, maybe you, you'll you cringe the whole three hours. Probably. Maybe so, he's cringing right now. <laughs> he's cringing right now. So anyway, so um, that part, I'm like super pumped, super entertaining, laughing, fun. Let's go fun, right? Um, so another hour there and then done. That's the show. Like two hours of just full-blown fun, blast fun. It goes so fast. Is she? And so what has happened in the past is that after the show, it's frigging 10 p.m. And there's nowhere to keep the party alive. Like, yeah. Old triangle, you have to wait in line. Absolutely. I don't I don't yeah. wait in lines. Um, but I hate waiting in lines when it comes to being somewhere I don't like really want to go. Mm. Um actually am a line person very much in normal. Life. I am. Um yeah. when it comes to like, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting in line to like might get a table inside the old triangle where I don't drink, there's no food, and the music is just okay. It's not my mm -hmm. kind. So I decided to do my own after party. That's pretty much it. It's to fuel my own desires. Perfect. So DJ and Putin. Um, DJ Putin's in the house. I don't think his, I think those are two separate things. Actually. I was going to suggest that you do that. I don't there know. you go. Look at that. I feel like you're good. Here, is this where your face is going to be? 
<laughs> you play Putin. All right. So as you're listening to this podcast, you guys, the after party, like very limited, like that's going to be done by tonight. That's going to be sold out. And I think that don't wait, like, don't be like, oh, I think I'll be fine. I think you'll have FOMO. I think you should buy your ticket. I think you should like, you're going to be in that vibe. And then you'll be like, oh, I just want to go and stop and eat Putin. Maybe like there's no place to eat at 10 30 PM. Lo. No, it's fine. No, bar. no, it's really fine. No place. Gusto's closed. They don't want to like. I we were lucky last time that Gusto was like, "Okay, we'll take you in for like half hour." But oh, okay, so there's no food. I mean, you can have a sweaty piece of pizza at any time <laughs> downstairs downtown. Downstairs downtown. Definitely yeah. can eat a sweaty piece of pizza at any time. But no, I want I want good stuff. You know, I, I, honestly, what I want is a dance floor and good music. I just with I want, a side of Putin with a side of Putin. That was. I I like that good music with the side of putin that's what dreams are made of yes so that is our evening on saturday now are you excited oh, yeah. i'm pumped absolutely not. jack yeah no nah, it's I gotta am. be good yeah no nah, okay i'm ready i'm ready all right any last questions wait what about i want to know who uh what women empowerment means to you guys oh i like that uh, or who do you think of when you think of like powerful women in the world? Who do you oh, think yeah. of? It's obvious. I'm sitting right next to it. Okay. It. Her. Okay. <laughs> well, I wear the pants, but she tells me which pants to wear. That's what happens. Nice. In I like that. Yeah. That's it? Just me? Empowerment? Yeah. Like um, in the world, no? I, Alicia, yes. And maybe in this community. But what about in the world? Who would uh, you? Marley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. No, I don't know. Interesting yeah. choice. Okay. Is it just because she had a song? A flowers? Can I can buy myself flowers? Yeah, actually, that was quite empowering for me. <laughs> for you? <laughs> I met it on a different level. Okay. No, um, other empowering women? No, still to Jeff, and I'll think about this question. Okay. What do you think? Who do you empowering think is women. really empowering women and young girls right now in the world? T Swift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> huh? She's crushing it right now crushing it she really yeah. is so we'll be filling in all the blanks that you're having right now during the show on saturday okay and we're gonna highlight some mm -hmm. incredible women in the last year that have impacted our culture and society okay all right okay mm -hmm. can you think you guys of anything else that happened in the last year that might be worth us talking about are you still talking to me just that anyone um there was like something big that came out that was definitely about women. About women. This year? Yeah. Think pink. Oh, Barbie. Barbie. Barbie yeah. movie. Barbie. I know that. Did you see it, Neil? Did you watch it? I haven't watched it yet. Okay. If you would have watched it, you would have been like, Barbie movie. It's such yeah. a women empowerment film. Like, it's literally to empower women and to um, get that. Uh, I don't know. It was really good. It was good. That was really good. Did you see it, Jeff? I did not. He but... did not. Uh, maybe you guys should watch it before the show. He's in... Oh, wow. Did you just hear what he said? What? I'm a big fan of Margot, so I'd, I'd be open to watching it for sure. Okay. Fan of Margot. Mm -hmm. There is a really funny part in it where they say, she's like trying to say something, but it shouldn't be about everything that you look, what you look like. And they were like, cue directors maybe margot was not the right person for this role for this moment like they like, broke the fourth wall it was really funny yeah like they like kind of like the yeah. and person qui parle, you know what i mean like as in like maybe you shouldn't have like picked the most gorgeous human to like say it doesn't matter if you're not pretty you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> um it was funny and i was like i'm glad that they like recognized like acknowledged they it yeah acknowledge it you said it out loud like she's literally Barbie. She literally <laughs> looks like it. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, any last what are you Ken enough? Ken enough. Are you, you Ken enough? See it. You can't see it. Look at this. I am Ken enough. I want that. I am Ken enough. Oh, okay. enough. I am Ken enough. Yeah. You I want, want that? I want that sweater. Wow. That is exactly what a 45 year old man should be walking around wearing for sure. It's just tie dye, a little bit of pink, no problem. I can... it's, it definitely is your style. Is this a random man you took a photo yeah, of? Yeah, and I thought it was kind of cool. I am Kenna. Yeah. And you just like found him on the, is it? Is this your backdrop? Like it looks like. <laughs> no, this isn't my thing. It was in a, I was waiting for. Uh, <laughs> it's his vision board. I was waiting for people to turn up for dinner and I saw his sweater and I was like. 
Oh, this is a human being that you took a photo of in your world. Yes. It's not even on the internet. I love you so much for this right now. Which photo is really and were you going to put it on your Christmas list? Like, what were you? <laughs> Maybe. And you were just uh, saved it for this moment. Did, did you show someone else this picture before this moment? No. It was just on your phone. To thank you. It. That person is watching. I hope that person is watching. <laughs> <laughs> hope this is someone's husband. You know what? Some husbands are coming, Alicia. I've are heard, they? Yeah. I've heard that there are a couple husbands that are coming to the show. I think they'll really enjoy. It's like obviously always a good show. Um, but um, we do have a role for a man on uh, in our show. This I was uh, going to say, if your husband's coming and he's not uh, sure. a guy, Jeff. he's not, not like a Jeff. Jeff. If he's more like Neil, um, let us know. Maybe we can pick him. I yes. feel like Jeff gets a rough end of the stick on these yeah. things every time. No, it's just not his vibe. He's not a uh, fame whore. I'm not a fame whore either. Like, it's like... <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, mm. everyone. Hopefully this was enough. Enough of Neil. Enough yeah, of Jeff. Enough. For enough. enough. It's enough. This was enough mm. for everyone uh, for another year. Right for another year, and you know what? Let's announce the date for next year. It is Aug uh, October fifth. The date of the next show, not the oh. date of the next podcast we're doing together. No, okay. no, 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 no. The date of the next show is actually Oct. Why do I struggle? October fifth, twenty twenty four. Um, so save the date, but do not forget to go get your virtual ticket like today, like today. Aujourd'hui, aujourd'hui. Oh, I, I love when you talk French. Is, is that Thanksgiving, October fifth next year? No. Okay. So no, it work. isn't. No, I made sure. So we're trying different things, but uh, we're so excited for our show. Thank you so much for your support. It's literally supporting our our hobby. Isn't that what support is? It's very supportive. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh, I was actually talking to the listeners, but thank you for supporting. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, that's really nice that she just directly said that to me. I was like, that was really well, nice. I mean, Neil, thank you so much for supporting oh, us. Oh. Thank, thank you so much for showing up. I really it's just just for eye candy for the women. Mm. Uh okay, mm. everyone. So have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you on screen Saturday night. Bye, you guys. Bye, Bye. We'll see you guys. Thanks.